let's dive right in. This is the walkthrough video for the round bottom flask assets now available on Gumroad. Like the graduated cylinders, beakers, and Erlenmeyers that came before them, also on Gumroad, these are available for free and are essentially photoreal representations of actual laboratory glassware. Also, similar to the other models, they are 10 times real world scale, but are appropriately scaled relative to one another, and they will also work out of box with all the previously free release glassware. Now, round bottoms tend to actually have a pretty good amount of variety, but most of the references that I found or other models that I stumbled across either had very long necks and no ground glass joints, or they didn't have the flaring around the neck that you see in pretty much all real round bottoms, which is necessary to stop liquid from actually getting up into your ground glass joint in real flasks. I elected to use a pretty standard 2440 stopper or joint on all of these. I could have gone 1420, which is a little bit smaller, or maybe a bigger one, 2945 or something like that. But I opted for the 2440 just because it's pretty standard across a wide range of glassware and let me capture a good range of sizes from 50 mils on the low end to 5 liters on the big end. There's also a single 2440 stopper in this scene, and you can duplicate this and add it to any flask you want pretty easily by simply hitting Shift D on the actual stopper. So here we have our duplicate, grabbing the flask that you want to add it to. So let's add it to the 2000 one, and then you would hit Shift S, choose Cursor to select it. You can see the cursor is already there. And then you would grab the stopper, hit Shift S again, and choose Selection to Cursor. Then simply hit 3 for an orthographic view, G and Z, and drag it up until it fits in place. And because all of these actually do use the same joint, modeled the same way, the stopper will fit in all of them evenly. So if I want to, I could again do this, grab it, there's the cursor right there, grab the stopper, Shift S, 8, and then G, Z, move it up, and then you just zoom in and make sure it's positioned pretty much the way you want it to be. So something like that would be just fine. Now these are set up to work with cycles out of box, and the last things that I want to discuss quickly are the modifiers and the liquid. So each of these actually has a hidden subdivision surface modifier of two. It will appear in all the renders, but not in the viewport, just to smooth performance. You can see that if I actually enable it, the edges get much smoother, a little bit nicer. So if you want to preview the way it's actually going to look, go ahead and do that. I've just disabled them so it's a little easier to work with the models. And then the other point that I want to touch on here is that unlike all of my other models where the liquids are actually parented to the flask in question, so the Erlenmeyers and the beakers, the liquid actually tracks it, these ones I did not do that. You can see the liquids are in a separate collection. The reason for that being that if I wanted to rotate this flask, I would like the liquid to stay flat the way that it would in an actual flask. Whereas if I parent it, then the rotation will be copied as well, and that looks pretty unnatural. One thing that you can do to try and circumvent that is add an object constraint to the liquid. So you'd grab the actual liquid, you'd choose copy location, and then you would actually choose the location of the flask. The reason that I don't quite like this approach is it tends to actually clip just a little bit, usually at the base, so it's not perfect. But now you can see I can move this around pretty freely and I could rotate it without that problem occurring. That is something that I kind of leave up to the individual. I actually think it's better to just grab both the liquid and the flask by holding down shift and then moving both together however you want, rotating as you need to, with just the flask selected. Other than that, in terms of materials, it is a simple glass set of materials, logo glass and ground glass. So the ground glass controlling the joint up here, logo glass controlling where the logos are placed and all of those wonderful details. And all of the files are packaged into the .blend file as needed, so you can just use these pretty much as soon as you download them. Other than that, the liquid is essentially the same liquid that is in all of the other releases, so feel free to interact with these however you like. Hopefully these are useful, they are part of a growing glassware set. Next up on the list is going to be something, perhaps separatory funnels, columns, condensers, as well as cork rings and keck clamps for a nice complete laboratory glassware set. And once that's all done, they will be packaged together and released on Gumroad, the individual assets being free of course. So. The full tutorial for how to make these assets a little bit more customizable will be coming out on Monday, but if you want to just enjoy the assets as they are, again they are available for free on Gumroad, link in the description. And with that, as always, thanks for coming out. If you find these useful or interesting, please consider subscribing, sharing with your friends and colleagues, and of course, until next time, you have yourselves a great old day.